Hey, what's up, everybody? So I've been a Dreamcast fan for a while now. And uh, back in the days, I always, you know, used to think about programming for it and how cool it would be. It was uh, one of my favorite, you know, if not my favorite childhood console. So, uh, yeah, that being said, this is going to be uh, a guide based on the Callistios Chaos um, documentation they have over at GitHub. And I'll be walking through the setup, you know, just programming. Um, live, I guess, and uh, going over most of the setup with the goal of having a hello world by the end of all this. So I'm gonna jump right in. Okay, so a little bit about Callisti OS straight from their documentation. Chaos is an unofficial development environment for the Sega Dreamcast game console with some support for the Naomi and Naomi Tour arcade boards. Chaos was developed from scratch over the years by a group of free software developers and has no relation to the official Sega Katana or Microsoft Windows CE development kits. This has allowed it to fuel a thriving Dreamcast homebrew scene, powering many commercial releases for the platform over the years. It supports a significant portion of the Dreamcast's hardware, capabilities, and a wide variety of peripherals, accessories, and hard add-ons for the console, including custom hardware modifications that have been created by the scene. And that being said, I think the cool thing about programming is that you don't have to know everything to get started, and I'll be adding a video on how to set up a Ubuntu VM for Windows if anybody's interested. It says the next thing we should do is create uh, the directory for where we'll be placing the toolchain. So uh, let's go ahead and give that a shot. Next step in the Dreamcast wiki documentation is to clone the Git repository. So we'll be doing a Git clone. For sure, I already have a Git installed on my VM. Okay, so I'm gonna give this step a shot and we are now configuring the DC chain script. Okay, so just a quick recap of everything we've done. We went over to the getting started with Dreamcast development guide on the Dreamcast wiki. And I went down to here because I'm using Ubuntu and ran the Debian Ubuntu-based Linux sudo apt install to get all the dependencies. Then we created this uh, space for the toolchain with a couple of permissions. I believe this gives the owner uh, full permissions and all others only um, read and uh, execute permissions. Clone the Git repository. Uh, configure the DC chain script. And we went with the stable version because the stable version has long been used by the community and is known to work well. And now we will be preparing the tool chain. So let's get right to it. Yeah, I should say one term we're going to run into a lot is tool chain. And according to the documentation, the tool chain consists of GCC, the C++ and Objective-C compiler, bin utils, an assembler and linker, Newlib, a C library, and GDB, the debugger.
Okay, so now that we've uh, prepared the tool chain, next thing we have to do is compile the tool chain with the simple make command. So let's go ahead and do that. prepared the tool chain, compiled the tool chain, and now we will be compiling the GDB debugger. Let's get right into it. Okay, so now that we have the uh, GDB debugger installed, we'll be moving on to cleaning up temporary files, then configuring and compiling Chaos and Chaos ports, and then eventually building Chaos itself. Let's go. Yeah, so I ran into a little bit of trouble during the Chaos ports, and that's because when I cloned the Git repository for Chaos, it uh, added it inside of a directory named Callistios, and the rest of the documentation has everything sitting in the Chaos directory. So the um, environment variables that were set up in the uh, environ.sh script weren't pointing to the correct directory. But I was able to switch that up. Uh, hopefully it won't cause any problems down the road. But if it does, just one more thing to tackle. And also if anybody's unfamiliar with a make file or make, it's basically just a uh, set of instructions on how to compile your code. Next thing we have to do is build the chaos examples. So we have to enter the chaos examples directory. Okay, so after we ran this last uh, building chaos examples script, it looks like that's everything for our environment. Um, I'll be checking and then we'll be moving on to compiling and running an example program. So hopefully everything went good with our environment setup. 